Hi, in this tutorial we'll um, find out how to separate an image with masking. It's extremely useful, for example, in this case, when you have uh, pretty much complex hair in this picture. It's pretty impossible to, to cut out this with pen or uh, any other tool, but with masking is it's, it's not a problem at all. So, uh, first we uh, I'll just clone this layer. Um, the first step is to use a clone brush and clone uh, the hair all over the picture. So we'll create uh, a base for for masking. It doesn't have to be really uh, very looking good but uh, the main thing is that you should have the whole picture covered with uh, with texture Yeah, and actually here, since the hair are pretty uh, solid color, we can just use mm, a brush and just paint that all black. I guess. Yep. Yeah, so we can basically paint that all. This part here, so we'll clone that as well. And <clears throat> okay, so we have it ready, and right now we'll create our mask. Uh, actually, in GIMP, all the masks are black and white, so we'll have to create uh, white areas when we want the picture, and the black areas when we don't want the picture to, to be shown. We're using levels, uh, level tools for right now to get a uh, fully black and white image that will be used for masking. Yeah, so the whole face should be covered as as white, seamless color. Okay, we'll take a hard brush right now and finish this background here. Yeah, basically our mask is ready. We'll also use a level tool to make it even more better. Yeah, okay. So right now we are less add some some uh general background so we'll see what's going on <laughs> we'll put it here okay so right now we are we'll cut this layer by by first we need to select that by select all by hitting command or control a and we choose cut in this menu okay so <clears throat> and right now we're adding layer mask by right click and add layer mask option and we are pasting or, or 
mask here. Okay, so in, in GIMP, when you paste in something, you get a floating selection, which you need to enter in correct place. So basically, we've masked out uh, the hair. I don't like this, this place, so we'll go back to the original uh, layered mask and just change the color of this, this, this part. That's better, yeah. Fuzzy tool is fuzzy brush is better for that. Um, <coughs> And basically that's it. We have we have it separated. We can change the background to anything else, um, whatever color we like. So you can see that we we've separated uh, this girl with pretty much complex hair structure in in less than five minutes we'll add some nice back on here yep and we are done we can save that as a new version yeah and actually this is our image before and after our work so this is how how we done uh, her separation in GIMP thank you and bye